Hello everyone, this is DutchGuy94 here, and today I'm going to show you how to set up a basic mission in Arma 2 Combined Operations. To select a mission editor, you go to Single Player, and then you will select Editor at the bottom of the menu. If you select Editor, you will get a menu which will show you which maps you can uh, play on. For today I'm going to make a mission on Uthus. Okay, right now we're in the editor, and you will have the map where you can create your mission or start building your mission. To move the map you will hold right mouse button and just move the mouse. To zoom in and out you will just use your mouse wheel to scroll and zoom in and out into your map. But first off I'm going to need uh, a couple of units. So uh, I'm going to select units then I will double click the screen then I will get a menu. In this menu I can select the side this unit is going to be on. It's going to be on blue 4. I can select a faction like British Armed Forces or in this case just United States Marine Corps. The class is going to be just a regular man. Uh, the control is going to be the player. In, the, in this uh, box control you can set non-playable player or playable. If you select player it's uh, playable and you will start off as this person. If you make it non-playable, then it's just a, a uh, AI who's just doing stuff and you can't control it at all. If you make it playable, uh, in multiplayer you can select it as a, someone else can play as this. And in a single player you can switch uh, between uh, these players, uh, units, sorry. Uh, but uh, this man is going to be the player. It's also going to be the leader, so I'm going to make it rank sergeant. And it's going to be a fire team leader. Now I'm all by myself. I'm going to be the fire team leader. And uh, if you want to see, if you just want to roam around in the map, you can just uh, click preview. Really easy. Like right now, I'm a fire team leader. Who has this fire team leader stuff? Not really interesting. Empty space. Really boring. Just uh, press escape. Click abort and you will go back to the editor. Let's make a, let's make myself a squad. To make a squad, you just uh, you just uh, double click to make more units, and my whole squad is going to be play playable. So uh, just select the control playable. The rank is going to be private, and the unit is going to be a rifleman. By making the rank private, uh, this unit will immediately attach uh, one close. To this, uh, to a higher ranked unit uh, as a group. So, uh, if I would uh, click preview now, the soldier is where is he? Uh, is under my command. So, if I would tell him to get your eyes over meters, there, then he will just uh, move over there. Just escape aboard. But uh, two players, a little bit, little bit too, little bit. Uh, Lonely still. So, uh, more friends. Let's uh, make some more friends. More playable. This one is going to have a small. This one is going to be playable and it's going to be a corpsman. And this man is going to be. Um, oh, hang on. Uh, this man is going to be a automatic rifleman. Oh, I'll be damned. Hang on. This one's going to be an automatic rifleman. Boom. Okay, I was actually trying to make this uh, person far away enough that it wouldn't connect to the group. Would be cool for demonstration's sake, but uh, okay. Uh, in case your automatic rifleman isn't part of the group, let's say uh, it's placed over here, it's not part of the group at all, it didn't link up to the fire team leader, you will click groups on the right side of your screen and you will just uh, pull a line, you will draw a line to either the fire team leader or someone who's part of that team because it will immediately connect to the person who has the highest rank. If you want to move uh, units you will be, you will be, it's uh, really useful to be in the units thing because if I'm still in the group thing and I will select a the player then I will just uh, move lines, draw lines which isn't the thing you're supposed to do. But okay. But uh, these units are uh, 
quite nice, but uh, st setting them up at the end of a runway is quite boring. So I just hold left mouse button and move them over to this cross right over here. And they're not all really facing the right way, so I'm just going to hold shift and then just turn them. Okay. Now we have some... Uh, now we, now we have a squad, we want some enemies, and to make some enemies, like a nice group of enemies, which is going to be nice to shoot at, because I'm not really willing to make a whole squad for up for Russians, etc, etc, because I'm not going to play as that, so I don't really care what they have as long as I can kill them. So for that I'm going to select groups at the right side of my screen, double click the screen, then I will pick the side up for Russia and it's going to be a nice infantry section. People, so units to tilt and hold shift. Okay, perfect. Now I am going to need a objective and to make myself an objective, well I'm just going to say I'm going to clean the town of Kameny of up for Russians. And uh, by, do by doing that, I'm going to just walk through the town. And how am I going to do that? I'm going to make a waypoint. To make a waypoint, you just go to the right side of your screen, click waypoints, then you will just select the group of people for who the waypoint is going to be, or just the fire team leader. And then you just double click the screen, and then you will get this menu. In this menu, you can uh, select the type of uh, waypoint it's going, what, what it's going to be. In this case, it's just going to be a simple move marker. You can select the combat mode, which is going to be open fire and engage at will. You can select the formation you're going to move in, which is going to be wedge. And uh, the speed is going to be normal. Behavior of my uh, men is uh, going to be aware. And I forgot something. The completion radius is going to be, let's say, 20. So it means I don't have to stand directly on top of the marker, which is going, to, which is which it is going to give, which makes it easier. But now we only have one waypoint, and we actually want to go through all of Kameny. So I'm going to make another waypoint. I'll just click this waypoint, and then then I'll just double click the screen over here. Let's make a, another move marker. My apologies if there's any background noise. I got my windows open, so sorry. Uh, for this I'm just going to make a move marker. The combat mode is going to stay the same. Same for formation, speed and behavior. And the completion rate radius is going to be 50. Okay, let's uh, take a look what we have so far. I have a group of people. I have a move marker. And I have some enemies who are standing still in the town. That's kind of boring, isn't it? Enemies standing still in the town. So what I'm going to do, these enemies are going to patrol these streets. And I'm going to move them a little bit backwards because else it's going to be really short. So I can, I'm going to give my enemies a waypoint and their waypoint is just going to be move your ass over here which is going to be limited speed because they are going to be patrolling uh, the combat mode I don't really care about same for the rest of the stuff so it's just going to be a simple move marker and to make sure they only start moving whilst I'm in the area I'm going to make something which is called a trigger just go to the right of your right of your screen select triggers double click i'm going to make the size of my trigger is going to be 100 meters by 20 meters which is going to give a nice angle and it's going to be activated by blue floor whilst present So I'm going to put this trigger like this. Hang on. And I'm going to make the move marker. And to make it so uh, the move marker for 
my enemies are uh, is going to be triggered by this I need to synchronize the waypoint and the trigger to do this you just select si synchronize at the right side of your screen and draw a line between the trigger and a movement marker for the enemy now if I will now if uh, one of our blue four men is going to enter this trigger then they uh, then this uh, waypoint will be triggered and these men will start moving but now I need to make sure whilst I, if I have if I have uh, cleaned off Kameny that uh, the round will end so I'm going to do that with another trigger and this trigger is going to be pretty damn big make a trigger this trigger is going to be let's say five 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 uh, kilometers in uh, radius and by making a end to your uh, to your mission it's going to be not present up for and the type of trigger is going to be end and one and two just end so now if everything is all right let's take a look yes now if everyone on the opposite side is dead uh, on the whole island of Utus, then the round will end. And this is pretty much how you make a basic mission. And uh, to show your basic mission you just click preview and you can play the whole mission. Now you just need to save the mission, you just give them a name. Um, for this time I'm going to make it demo mission utus and i'm going to save it as a user mission but if you want to hang on if you want to save it uh, if you want want to play it as a single player mission or multiplayer mission you need to export it to single player missions then you can i'm pretty sure you can just access it in the single player and otherwise you can export it to multiplayer missions, what I tend to do so I can play with friends, which is what I'm going to do right now. And that's pretty much all you need to know to make yourself a basic mission. I hope you uh, liked, the vi liked this video. If you think it was a good video, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more of these kind of videos, please subscribe. And uh, good luck with making your awesome missions which are going to be way better than my missions and such so uh that was it thank you very much good night